What's going on, Aries? This is Renee, and welcome back. Aries, this is going to be your reading, your general reading for March 2023. And this is for March 1st through the 15th. So, if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Let's get some energy. We have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And we have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay. Let's get some more energy. Aries, I feel like what is going on for you for March? The beginning of March. The first part of March. Um, there's some kind of struggle, some kind of conflict, and we have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So this may have to do with love, with career, or somewhere in your life. Okay, um, let's get some more energy. I'm going to get a monology card. Okay, we have take time and breathe out. So you may need to feel like you need to take a step back. Like you need to like reevaluate, reprocess some kind of information. We also have conclusions are within reach. So whatever this issue is, I feel like it is going to be resolved within this time period. Um, you're going to find some kind of resolution. And I feel like with this change card, I feel like it's evolving into something different. Okay, we have vulnerability and freedom. So some kind of change that you're going to be going through. Whatever this energy is of blame and worry, I feel like you're going to be free of that. That's not going to linger for very long. Okay, um, that's just some kind of situation that is passing through is what I'm getting with um that blame and worry let's get some tarot cards for aries what's going on with aries march 1st through the 15th let's get a message okay we have the lovers so this issue th there may be some issues in love there may be some kind of conflict um, you may be struggling over certain situations. I feel like this love that you're going through is kind of evolving. It's going through that process of getting to know each other, getting to know each other better, learning each other's likes and dislikes. I feel like you could be blaming each other for certain situations. And I'm, I'm feeling kind of a petty attitude towards each other so you could be blaming each other for little minute stuff that really don't really make any difference but there's going to be some resolution there's going to be some kind of change in your situation okay with the hierophant now, this could be someone that you're married to this could be you know your significant other um, but I feel like if this is a love issue, this is something that's going to be resolved, okay? We have the Two of Wands. So I feel like you guys could be making plans. Maybe you're making wedding plans and you're going through some kind of disagreements or conflicts. Very interesting. But some kind of plans you're making. Some kind of situation. We have the Page of Wands. So I feel like there's 
there's maybe heated discussions, maybe heated debates. <clears throat> a lot of passion, a lot of throwing words at each other. Um, yeah, we have the tower. So something is about to change. Something is about to change your situation. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Okay, we have the five of wands. So I, I feel like once this change happens, you'll be like rebuilding. Re. And I feel like when you're rebuilding, you're actually rebuilding this stronger than before. That's what I'm getting. Uh, stronger than before, more stable, more solid, okay? We have the high priestess. So there's something that needs to come out. There's some kind of issue that needs to be spoken that may not be spoken at the moment. There's, some, there's someone who feels kind of left out of the situation. There's someone who feels unappreciated, un unwanted at sometimes but i feel like there's a lack of communication there's someone holding secrets and it's leaving them feeling unappreciated unwanted left out okay maybe one person is being left out of the planning or or you know really wants to put their two cents in the issue um, but the other one feels like they've got it under control. Hmm. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarification. Spirit, give me a message for this lovers and this hierophant. Tell me more about this issue, please. Tell me more about this issue from March 1st through the 15th. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So definitely, definitely what I was feeling with the Five of Pentacles down here. Someone feels left out. Someone feels left out of this situation when it comes to the lovers. Someone feels like, you know, you're moving forward with plans or with suggestions without letting them put in their feedback. Okay? That they feel like they want to kind of have some kind of... have some kind of say in this situation that they feel like their emotions are in this as well okay so if this is a left issue i feel like there's kind of arguments over you know where things are going to be what things are going to be done or um and i feel like this person just wants to be part of the process they want you to appreciate them as a partner not just someone who you sleep with. That's what I'm getting. That's the exact words that I'm getting. So they may have said this to you or they may need to say this to you. Okay. Um, Spirit, tell me about this two of wands and this page of wands. Tell me about this two of wands energy and this page of wands. Someone's trying to be patient. They're trying to wait. But they feel like they really can't wait any longer. They need to move forward on this process. Hmm. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. Someone feels like you have a lot of opportunities. You have a lot of options to choose from. And the Three of Pentacles. And I feel like maybe there's more people than just you making plans in this situation. Maybe you have your friends or you have your social group 
who's helping you make plans. But your love, your lover wants to be the one to make the plans with you. They want to help you decide. They want to help help you figure this out. Okay? That they want to be that partner to you. They want to show you what kind of partner they are. So they feel kind of left out of the situation because they feel like you have enough people helping you with the options that you have. But they have ideas of their own that they want to help with this. Hmm. Very interesting. I feel like there, there's some kind of planning going on. Some kind of maybe even a marriage but you're planning something and they just want to be part of it Aries tell me about this tower and this five of wands spirit give me a message for this tower and this five of wands okay the ace of swords and the eight of pentacles the three of cups wow Lots of people in this reading. You have a lot of people surrounding you, Aries. There's a lot of energies. Okay? Um, but I feel like someone needs to speak their truth. Someone wants to um, build something together after this tower. I feel like a lot of things are coming out. A lot of things are being told and kind of really put out there um are lots of thoughts feelings and emotions but i feel like after this tower after this big change there's a rebuilding phase there's something that's rebuilding and i feel like it's it's making you happy what I'm really getting with this Three of Cups is some kind of reuniting. You may have been planning this issue with someone. You may have been planning this out and then they took a break or wanted to take a break. Maybe there's been a separation. But whoever you've been separated from, Aries, I feel like this person wants to be reunited. They want to come back and rebuild. They need to speak to you. They need to communicate their thoughts and feelings. Okay? Um, tell me about this high priestess and this five of pentacles down here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Someone wants to speak to you. Someone's looking to tell you exactly how they feel after they've had some time away after they had some time to cool off or thinking about it or you know just take an inner perspective another perspective um and now they want to talk and they're willing to listen but they they want to feel some type of value in what's being said Basically, they, they really want you to hear what they have to say and really listen deeply at what they're saying. Because they kind of feel like maybe they've been ignored. Or maybe you or someone else hasn't really took value in what it, what it is that they are trying to tell you or communicate. Hmm. But I feel like maybe there's been a few days apart. Now this person wants to come back and be reunited. You know, bring things back together. Okay? Um... Give me an outcome, Spirit. Tell me more about this situation. Give me an outcome. Okay. 
Oh, we had the tower again. This is not going to go forward unless there's change. The, this person is very, very set on if this doesn't change, it needs to just end. Okay? Because the, this person wants to be valued. They want to be heard. Um, they're looking for healing in the situation. They want to be the spotlight. Okay. And like I said, I feel like this may be someone very close to you. This may be your partner. This may be someone coming back, but they feel like in order for this to go forward, this needs to change because they need to be your spotlight, your center of attention. They, they want to feel appreciated and wanted, you know, like their communication is valued. Okay, this could be your energy. This could be your partner's energy, Aries. But I feel, I feel very strongly this person feels like this can be successful. They, they want you, but they just don't feel like you value them all the time, like you recognize who they are. So that they're like struggling to make you see them. Now, like I said, this could be your energy. This could be someone else's Aries. But someone feels like they are not valued. They are not seen. So, I mean, in order to make this successful, this person wants your attention. Badly. They're a little bit obsessed with gaining your attention, gaining your acceptance. I feel like they're like going above and beyond to kind of make you notice them. Very interesting, Aries. So there's going to be some decisions that you need to make. This may leave you kind of frustrated at times. Okay. Um, but with these cards, you have the tower twice. But you have the star. You have the six of wands and the devil card. Okay. So... In order for the situation to kind of resolve itself and get better, there, there's something that needs to happen. Whatever these changes that need to be made, need to be made to put either yourself or this person. If, if this is yourself, you want to be put first. You want to be recognized, be wanted, be appreciated. You know, and if this is someone else, I feel like if if they aren't the center of your attention, if they aren't that, they're willing to, you know, leave this situation because they're they're starting to obsess over this because they want you Aries, but they they want you to see them. They feel like they're not seen. Okay, very interesting energy, Aries. Very interesting energy. Okay, let's get some angel cards. What do angels need to tell Aries for March 1st through the 15th? What kind of advice for Aries, March? We have sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. And I feel like this person really wants things to work out. And, you know, they forgiveness may be the key to this situation because I feel like, you know, at least forgiving somebody that's taking notice. That's taking notice. It's healing. It's putting yourself as well as your love on the front burner okay uh, what are the messages for aries we have archangel michael trusting heaven 
you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow the miracles to occur. Okay? So you have protection. You have guidance. You have a breakthrough energy. Okay, Aries? So, let's see. <clears throat> we'll get another card for Aries. We have divine timing. So, if this is meant to be, if this is meant to be your love, your significant other, we have divine timing. So, it's all going to come together in divine timing. But there is some nurturing, some support that needs to go into this. We also have trust the universe. So, Aries, trust your intuition in the situation. Trust the universe that is leading you into the right direction. And it has brought the right mate into your life. Okay? Um, let's get some monology manifestation cards for Aries. Wow. Okay. We have New Moon and Libra. Know you are loved. I feel like this person loves you very much. They want you to um, just see them and feel them and acknowledge that they're there. You know, if this is your energy, that's exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for someone to really acknowledge and feel that you're there, that you're willing to be supportive, you're willing to, you know, uh, feel this love on a higher level. So, um, very, hmm. Okay, we also have New Moon in Taurus. Know your worth. Speak your truth, Aries. Know that you are worthy of all things. Know that you can stand up for yourself, you can stand up for what you love, and what you want out of life, okay? We also have new moon in Aries. Just go for it. Make that assertive move. Make that first move. Just go for it, okay? Have that drive. Have that assertiveness, you know? Build up that fire within you. You are a fire sign. So, you know, you have that passion. You have that drive, Aries. Okay? Uh, Aries, this is what I have for you. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I will have all of those uploaded very soon. And until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.